the thing is this i have a lot of videos backlog <laughs> recording filmings that i have done even from last year because I, fortunately now that i found my niche i'm going to have to delete all of that cooking videos so i'm going to kiss them goodbye goodbye oh, it's very hard to see you go but you have to go right now <laughs>so i just found my niche in the most unusual way yes i did mention it on my introductory video but trust me at that point in time it didn't hold water because i mean then i just needed to say to state out here the type of content that you know i needed to put out here but i hadn't narrowed it down to a niche so now that i have found my niche a lot of things that i mentioned that i was going to put out here as content it's probably not going to be on this channel anymore <laughs> because yes i found my niche and i'm so excited about it and i'm also excited to share this with you so if you are a new youtuber here or you've you've been here but you probably been struggling on how to find your niche and how to get views then this video is for you you have to stay with me on this video i promise you you're going to learn something at the end of this video so today i'm going to be sharing with you how to discover a niche for your youtube channel so stay with me on this video hi my lovelies my name is gochi thank you for stopping by this channel today in this channel i post content creation ideas and tips i post interesting stories and i also share faith-based experiences i also post lots of vlogs and lifestyle videos please stay with me on this video today i promise you won't regret it don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't so by the way i'm doing this filming at night and i have all of these lights right in my face <laughs> so that's why you see i have my glasses on because i'm photophobic so you have to pardon me guys if i mean don't get distracted with this reflection that you see on the lens of my glasses okay all right so if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is gochi and i i'm a new youtuber but a youtuber with a difference you know why because i'm a content strategist by profession so i help i'm here to teach people how to create good content for their, for their YouTube channel. So I have value to offer you. So you see, you need to get in here, come grow with me. My goal is to help new YouTubers like me grow as I grow, because definitely I'm gonna grow, trust me. So if you're a new YouTuber or you are a new content creator, then you should be here. This is where you belong, all right? So come join the ride, come join the train. <laughs> All right, so let's um, get into it. Um, I'm going to start by sharing my experience, okay? So how I came to that discovery of my niche, right? So about um, two years ago, I mean, everyone, everyone has similar story of how, you know, they were procrastinating about finally getting to start a YouTube channel, right? So, um, for me, it was a little bit different. I mean, it, it took people to get me to the point where I decided that, okay, let me just, let me start a YouTube channel. So a lot of my friends, colleagues, you know, they kept talking to me about starting up a YouTube channel. I'm somebody who just likes to put content together. And whenever I do that, I just put them on my WhatsApp story, on my WhatsApp status, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, and I don't even think of YouTube. I just like to put contents together, like especially vlogs, right? And dance videos and all of that. So I just put things, contents together and I make it really interesting. Like it's usually in the form of stories. And then when I put them up there, people just comment, why don't you have a YouTube channel yet? Why don't you have, you need to start a YouTube channel. You're very good at this. I mean, you, you, I follow your content. I follow your stories and they're always, valuable so why can't you just start a youtube channel and all those times it never sunk like i mean they were just saying it and it still i still wasn't getting it like i didn't think of a youtube channel at all i was just comfortable in my space right so um i finally came to the point i mean two years ago i was just having these chats with my friend 
and she mentioned that she wanted to start a youtube channel and she actually wanted us to collaborate like you know a sit down channel where we can address you know some topics like topical issues and all of that so i was like yeah i'm i'm, I'm okay with that i can be featured in your channel whenever you want and then she was like how about you i mean you are content content is what you do so how come you don't have a youtube channel she's like i can't believe that you're not even thinking about this yet and then i just smiled i was like right right it still didn't sink nice <laughs> okay so when i started to consider it sometime around last year okay so a lot of people were like giving me all of these ideas oh of course then i was like what will i talk about when i start a youtube channel and people were like how can you say that you're good you have a good fashion sense you can just start a channel teaching people how to match you know different pieces of clothes clothing you know you can start on, on some of like you're good with writing you can teach people how to come up with writing ideas you know so i mean yeah all of these things that they mentioned i i'm actually good at them but none of them were actually a passion for me so it still was hard right so when i decided to just start i felt like okay i'll just put out anything in these categories entertainment lifestyle um content creation because that is my profession not necessarily my niche at that point in time um uh, and then i talked about career tips and then um work-life balance and all of that i was like you know i'll just put them out there as they come but then I, as i started to create content then it started to come you know started to dawn on me like you need to teach people how to create content you need to talk to people about how to better their content how to make engaging content and it finally dawned on me after my last video where i had to teach people how to make an interesting vlog i was like this is it this is it it's been right here before you this whole time and <laughs> you just didn't see it so even though it had become clear to me at that point in time I still needed to look within like I still needed to search within for what for passion I needed to be sure if this is something that I'm passionate about and of course there was no doubt about that I am passionate about my job I am passionate about anything that has to do with content creation content management you know so I was like I mean this is something that I can just see down and just speak to anyone about I was like so what have i been waiting for so now the thing is this i have a lot of videos backlog <laughs> recording filmings that i have done even from last year because i started planning to launch this channel from last year so my goal was to launch it uh, on the 1st of january this year right so but before then i started filming you know i started getting um footages for my vlogs getting footages i have a lot of cooking videos so many a lot of cooking videos <laughs> right now but guess what i'm going to have to delete all all like because cooking itself is a niche i can't just you know i can't mess up my niche right now my channel by adding cooking videos to it it's just so unfortunate because <laughs> I feel like crying because the effort that I put into making those videos, like it was a whole lot. There were so many of them, right? So by the time I was filming all of that, I hadn't come to a decision of what I wanted to put out on my channel. I just I was just creating content so that when I launch, I'll have contents to put out. But unfortunately, now that I found my niche, I'm going to have to delete all of that cooking videos. So I'm going to kiss them. Goodbye. Goodbye, I don't hard to see you go, but you have to go right now. Okay, so um if this is if this was you, then you need to do exactly what I just did or what I've I have done. Okay. So guys, this video is in two parts. And this part is where I get to tell you, where I get to share my story and how I was able to find my niche. 
Now, the next part, I'm going to be sharing tips on how you can find yours. And there's something that I call the three Ps. Trust me, you don't want to miss it, okay? So I just didn't want to bore you guys out with a lengthy video. So I just wanted you to come watch at your own, to watch both videos at your convenience, all right? So please make sure that you watch the next video. And I'm going to have to end this video right now. And um, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next part, okay? Bye. Let's go.